Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Sapphire and let's get into this hair because it's giving cayenne pepper, smoked paprika, ginger spice, red hot pepper, and I love it. This color is perfect for the summer and fall, so let's get into it. Okay, I want to thank Y Wigs for sending me three packs of their human braid in hair and this is in the color 350 and 26 inches. I love that they also include a comb and a crochet needle in the bag as well. As you can see, each bundle is super dense. I only use one and a half bundles of the human hair. Links to this hair will be below in the description. This is the braid in hair that I used and I got this from Amazon. I was scared that the color wouldn't match to human hair, but as you can see, it does. I will also leave the Amazon link to this hair as well in the description below. Now it's time to wash the human hair. This is totally optional, but since this hair has been dyed, I wanted to give it a good wash because I have sensitive and acne prone skin and I don't want this hair to cause any unnecessary breakouts on my face. I also didn't want this hair to possibly stain my white sheets. So into the sink you go. I used Dawn dish soap and look at the color residue coming off. See, all of that would have been on my face or on my sheets. Uh-uh, wash your bundles girl. After washing and conditioning the hair, I added argan oil to the hair to add moisture and shine. I hung the bundles up and let them air dry. And this is how the bundles look after air drying for 8 hours. If you braid, then you need one of these braiding racks. It neatly holds the hair for you. Before I had one of these, I would place the hair pieces on my bed and would have hair all over my bed, child. But not anymore. This rack keeps the hair nice and organized and makes the braiding process go a little faster. I got this from Amazon and will leave the link to the one I'm using in the description. Okay, I'm starting out on freshly washed and blown out hair. I went ahead and got started off camera. I have a more detailed video of how I do my boho braids. I'm not a professional braider, I'm still learning, but I'm just trying to save $800 because that's how much some stylists are charging for knowledge boho braids. And I'd just rather keep that $800 in my bank account, okay? Okay, just be mindful, the more human hair pieces you add on each braid, the more fuller your hair will look and be. I was going for a full look, but not too full because it is hot in Texas right now. I only added about two to three pieces on each braid. So yeah, if you want a more fuller look, add more hair pieces on each braid. Maybe about five pieces for that really full sewing look. And just like maybe one or two pieces for more of a, like a lighter look but yeah just FYI all right it's the next morning and I have only one row left as you can see I have my hair in two braids this is how I slept and this prevents tangles and the human hair from matting I had to learn this the hard way because boho braids are very high maintenance. You can't just sleep on them because if you do, you'll wake up to them being matted and tangled. So braiding or twisting your hair, then placing a bonnet on before going to bed will help keep your boho braids looking nice and fresh.
question what my future has in store. I get to panicking anxiety, can't live here no more. No more, no more, no more. I'll convince myself that I don't want what I really want. It's time protecting my heart. Her disguise as strength. Alrighty, I'm all done braiding my hair. Make sure you cut those straggly hairs that are sticking out. So now it's time for me to prepare my braids to dip them. I normally go for curly ends by dipping my ends with perm rods, but this time I wanted my ends to be wavy. So I sectioned my hair into four and braided my hair halfway down. After dipping my braids, I added shea butter to the ends to prevent the hair from looking dry and to also prevent tangling. Now you can add mousse or leave-in, either one is fine. I decided to go for shea butter this time around, it's a thicker consistency and it will also help keep the hair moisturized for a longer time while eliminating frizz. I apply the shea butter on the top parts where my natural hair is to help slick down any flyaways and to make sure my natural hair is moisturized. Since I'll be keeping these braids in for at least a month, it's important that I take care of my natural hair while wearing these braids. Even though this style is a protective style, you don't want to neglect your natural hair. And this is the final look. I really love this color of these braids. This is my first time wearing ginger red hair. It's such a great color for the fall time. So thank you again to White Wigs for sending me three bundles of their human braiding hair. Don't forget to check them out in the description below. I wanted you guys to see how the color looked in natural lighting outside as well. The color really does pop. Got me feeling like Ariel from The Little Mermaid Child. <laughs> thank you so much for watching and until next time, take care.